Welcome to this curriculum inspiration focusing on Pascal's Triangle Hidden Gems This TI Inspire activity introduces Pascal's Triangle by briefly looking at the additive construction of the triangle and its relation with combinatorics. Students can compare the triangle to the coefficients of selected binomial expansions. It would be cool if you could use the calculator to generate an entire row of Pascal's triangle. Well, by storing a list of numbers in a variable such as R, we can generate an entire row of Pascal's triangle. I'll set R equal to the numbers from 0 through to 6. Then we can use the combinatorics command NCR as 6 comma R. Or we can use the combinatorics formula. To generate longer or larger rows, you can also use the sequence command embedded within the NCR. For many teachers and students, this is as far as they go with Pascal's Triangle, but they're missing out on some of the hidden gems. The activity then looks at triangular numbers. The triangular numbers are essentially any number that can be represented by a triangular array of dots. The triangular numbers appear in the third diagonal of Pascal's Triangle. So the nth triangular number can be expressed as NCR n plus 1 comma 2. On TI Inspire CAS students can generate the formula directly. Alternatively students can determine the formula via some by hand calculations involving combinatorics. The tetrahedral numbers are a three-dimensional version of the triangular numbers. The tetrahedral numbers are contained in the fourth diagonal of Pascal's triangle. We can explore this using the previous formula and the summation or sigma command, or we can use combinatorics once again. Students will need to be careful that they have the correct row and diagonal before simplifying the combinatorics. Hidden in the rows of Pascal's triangle are the powers of 2. The zeroth row is 2 to the 0. The sum of the terms in the first row is 2 to the 1. 
the sum of the terms in the second row is 2 to the 2, and so on. We can use the sigma notation on the calculator to find the sum of any given row in Pascal's triangle, and compare this to the corresponding power of 2. There are more hidden gems in this activity, including the Fibonacci sequence and even a popular transcendental number. This transcendental number is much more challenging to find. For this one, we need to study three consecutive rows of Pascal's triangle. To start with, we find the product of all the terms in the first row, then multiply it by the product of all the terms in the third row. And finally, divide by the square of the products of the terms in the second row. Might sound complicated, but check these out. Of course, there is a calculator template for sums and also products. The product of all the terms in a single row means that the n in our combinatorics is constant and the r is changing. Let's use our template on the fourth row. Now, the entire expression There's a little work editing here, so the notes application is a much better way to explore this problem. We'll copy and paste Insert in a math box and then insert a slider. We'll explore numbers from 1 through to 50. Then edit each product. and then change the slider value. If you record these values, you can put them in a list and then graph them. Compare the result with an equivalent algebraic expression that's all for this curriculum exploration. Be sure to download the activity. Thanks for watching.